Good morning, saints. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is a blessed morning on this morning. It's good to be here on this. It's good to be on the wake up list on this Tuesday morning. And we say to God, be the glory. Hallelujah. God is good. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. It is a good morning on this morning. Good morning. Come on, tag someone. Tag someone. Come on in on this morning. To God be the glory. Yes, Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Go, Pastor. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday. Good morning, Marlo. Good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Wisdom. Irene, good morning. James, good morning. Esther, good morning. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to each and every last one of you. Hallelujah. I know someone saying we don't have our hey, song. For your man this holiday? I believe Meet it's the time for our song only this morning. My God. Good morning, Keisha. Good morning. Uh oh, that's, there go the music. Copasta is in. That means Copasta is here. Oh my God. Yes. You showed up and matched me up. Good morning. My God, my God. There ain't no way you ever let me down. My God, come on, come on. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I see you, Trisha. You're the first one. You're the first one. You're the first one to got it going on this morning. Good morning, Pastor Langa. He is good God Almighty. My God, my God. You say your love goes on forever, that your mercy my never God. stops. So why would I assume you'll be somebody that you're not? My God. Like you're I see you, Marilyn. There you go, Marilyn. Come on, Marilyn and, and Trisha. Come on, get everybody pumped up this morning. I see you dancing. Yes, indeed. This is my grandchildren, little baby's favorite song. Happy birthday, Becky. Happy birthday, Becky. Birthday, Becky. Love you. Yes, you. Hope has to be having our grandbabies. They be all over the house dancing and singing this song. Yes, indeed. He's all Come on, come on. Come on, we're going to just give it another a few more minutes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, and Jesus when the Good sun goes God down. God Almighty, that's Hallelujah. right. I hope you find me. Oh, my God. Praising your name no matter what comes. My yes, God. Lord. Listen, brothers and sisters, we got into something on yesterday. Mm. And it is, for those of you who don't know, this month is um, 
Pastors Appreciation, Pastors Appreciation Month. Month. Pastors Appreciation Month. Hallelujah. Pastor Appreciation Month. And man, God has just been doing some different things with the pastors. I just want to give a, a shout out to uh, one of my uh, pastors. One of my pastors um, uh, came over to the church on the, I believe it was the first Sunday in this month, either the first Sunday or the second Sunday in the month. She came over to the church and she just relieved me uh, of preaching that day. She just relieved me of preaching that day. She says, listen, she said, it's Pastor Appreciation Month. She said, you don't have to uh, preach today. Her and her church came over and they just came over into the house and relieved me of the pulpit. And I just thought that was something so great. And I just want to thank uh, Pastor Herlin for that. So listen, brothers, sisters, listen, if you have a your pastor out there, maybe you one of the pastors, one of the preachers at your ministry, just go ahead and relieve your pastor for one day. Just relieve him. Tell him, don't worry about it. Just take a, a chill pill mm -hmm. and, and just let him absolve the word of mm -hmm. God. My God, hallelujah. And that was so great. Listen, we're going to get back in because yesterday we talked about a few things on yesterday of how we can uh just uh just do right by our pastors right. just give our pastors the uh the the love and the authority uh that the from the authority that they have right. and they carry co-pastor we have to love right. them and we have to appreciate them and we have to know that mm -hmm. God is is giving them a mandate for right. us right. to do mm -hmm. certain things right and what we're going to do, where we starting off this morning, Co Pastor, we're starting. You know, when I thought about uh, what we were talking about yesterday, uh, later on in the daytime, I came and I was thinking about some things, and my mind went to Jeremiah, mm -hmm. third chapter, the 15th verse. Mm -hmm. I wrote it down. My God. Uh, where he said he would give us pastors or shepherds mm. at our own heart. Yes. And, and all that was meaning that I'm going to give somebody. To watch over you that will that will know your heart that will see you when you're down oh my god you know um and 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 i like that so much go past after my own heart yeah yeah and and i like that so much because i don't know if you want to read that or not but you know that is so pointed mm -hmm. what you're saying because what we do we take that out of content yeah mm -hmm. we take that out mm -hmm. of content and mm -hmm. you are so right uh in that because mm -hmm. he says i will give you pastors after my own heart. after my own oh, heart right, Bishop. and they shall lead you and they shall guide, guide you in, all, in truth. all truth in all truth that's right bishop good cool you he can said, read then it. i will give you shepherds after my own heart who will feed you on knowledge and understanding oh my god that will see you where you are oh and god. give you what you need oh at god. that time and that moment in your, that will know your heart oh my god you know will know what you're going through oh my god. and will give you knowledge and understanding in whatever you're going through mm -hmm. and with the word that will give you the word that will apply to whatever situation that you're in oh now god. it's up to us to receive that word and to apply that word that's why sometimes uh our pastors will give us a word because they see where we are. They see our heart broken. They see so, you know, what we're going through. But we will never take that word and we will never apply it. And then we look at it as, well, this didn't work. But God. did you do your part mm. and apply the word? The my Bible God. goes on to also Come say on, in Chronicles that uh, believe in the Lord thy God and he shall establish you mm -hmm. and believe in the prophet and he shall prosper, prosper you. My God. But do we take what our leader mm -hmm. tells us mm -hmm. and do we apply it to our lives that it can take effect? Because when, when God speaks through the man or the woman of God, my God, he's given them a word. If they're in a pulpit, if they're in a Bible study, or if they're just mm -hmm. talking to us, that he's given them a word to give us. For our situation. My God. And 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 go past, and this is where I wanted to uh jump in on you at when he says, I will give you pastors mm -hmm. after my, my own, own heart. heart. That's right. Bishop. So so you have to realize that that man or the mm -hmm. woman, not the pastor, that man or the woman um who who steps up in that mm -hmm. position right. of pastoring mm -hmm. uh steps down from humanity. 
right. and steps up into divinity. Mm -hmm. And and what what people like to do, they like to look at the humanity side and not the divinity side. Right, so when when that person is in the the realm of of the hat of pastorate, they are they are walking in divinity. And you know how many I, we had a meeting on last night at one of the churches. We had a meeting last night at one of the churches. And uh, while at the meeting, uh, it was so much that was said. Uh, God said so much at the meeting that half of those things I wouldn't have done. Mm. Half of those things I wouldn't have said. Mm, that's right. You have to. And, and listen, for those of you who know me and those of you who was at the meeting on last night, uh, you know, uh, I, I, my, my human side gets mad get frustrated, mm -hmm. get discouraged. Mm -hmm. My human side say, look, I'm not doing this no more. I'm not pushing these people. I'm not doing this, that, and the other stuff. That's my human side. Mm -hmm. But my divinity side, mm -hmm. the divine side says, wait, hold on. It's not about you. You That's have right. nothing to do with this. Right. You are not in your own shoes. That's you right. are in my shoes. Right. When you take that pulpit, when you take, when you over those people, mm. then you are not speaking your will. You are speaking my will. So when he says, I'll give you pastors after my own heart, you have to realize and understand that God is speaking through the man or woman of God. Right. And he's do, giving them things that normally they wouldn't even That's do. Right, normally That's they wouldn't right. even do. Right. Man, listen, one thing about me, co and you know here at the house, if, if I get mad or get frustrated at something, I'm leaving it. And I'm not going back to it. I'm right, not going right, to go back right, to it. I'm not. Right. But you have to realize and understand when 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 you are given, when your pastor have that mandate upon him, he just can't give up. Right. He just can't throw right, in the towel. Right. And then we look at him or her and we say, oh, they should have did this a long right. time ago. They should have did mm -hmm. this. Well, no. You got to realize and understand God is pushing out right. some things. Right. And we come at different levels right. and we don't always have the understanding ending or we don't mm -hmm. always have the will to say, yeah, sometimes I want to just give this and we'll give this to you, co-pastor. Sometimes God has to chasten us. Right. Are, are you hearing me? Sometimes God <laughs> has to chasten us to, to push us or As whip leaders. us right. and to grind As us leaders. and to do stuff to us, to put us in the order that he won't. Because so many of us, we got hurt so bad. And we wanted to run, we wanted to believe, we wanted to cry, we wanted to cuss, we wanted to fuss, but we got hurt so bad. But God will 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 carve us oh, that's right. into the right, right. person that's He right. wants us to be. That's right. And we have to come back and do with the things of that's God. That's right. And since you said that, that just lets you know that we never have to fight any battles on our own on, because on. God is the one that's in control, he's in control. and he's going to take care of it, whoever it is or whatever it is. My God. Then I want us to look at, you said about timing, a lot of things that pastors cannot do My God. when people expect them to do Come on, is because number one, most of us is not ready to receive what God want to put on the table. My God. My so God. if the pastor would bring it to you, you would look at him like, out of your mind, you're crazy mm -hmm. because we're not there yet and we can't see that fall. Yes. And so last night, that happened last night. Last night, there was three or four things that I had on my sheet that I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. But God says, don't say it not now. Time. There's not time. They, right. they, and I've said it so many times before, but God says it's not time. They're not going to receive right. it now. When it's the proper time. My God. My God. Everyone will be on one of them. My God. Because my God. now they're at a place to digest my this. My God. You know, and, and, we think that mm, we already mm, there. We think we already know. But a lot of times God will tell us, you cannot digest this right here. And that's why. That's why he said we know in part. We will, my we will God, see my God. Come on, come clearly back. because there's come a on. timing that he can give us certain mm, things that we can digest it on, and take on. it. That's why a lot of times as leaders, we will not approach people in a certain way because we know God has already let us know my they're God, not ready, they're not for, ready that. for You that. can't even come at them like that. You can't tell them this because they're not going to receive it like this. It was 
uh, receive it offensive instead of receive it as uh, you're trying to bless them or help them. They will receive it offensive. So right now you can't tell them that. Watch this. Look, look, let me show you something else in the book of Romans, the 13. I just wanted to find it for you. I wanted to read it for you in the book of Romans, the 13th chapter and verse number two. This is what it says. Therefore, whoever resists authority mm -hmm. has opposed the ordinance of God. Mm -hmm. But if you resist authority, you mm -hmm. have opposed the ordinance of God mm -hmm. to resist authority mm -hmm. is to resist God. Ah. To resist authority mm. is to resist mm. God. So when 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 God has given your pastors uh, something to say or, or given them a mandate, when you go against them, listen, we always say, oh, I love the Bible. I'm going to keep God's word. I'm going to do this and that. And, 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 you know, I'm just speaking as in a man tone. But we say all these things. But then when the pastor says something or when our leader gives us direction, we go against it. Now, watch this. And you don't know how many times you are in error. Mm -hmm. You are in error because to resist the authority oh, of your pastor is to resist God. Right. Ooh, y'all. Ooh, God. You see, we, right. we want to talk about faith. We want to talk about right. walking in faith. We want to talk about subjection and all that other mm -hmm. stuff. But when we go against Oh, he's a man just like me. He's not. When we go against him, read your word. It's in there. When you go against him, when you go against them, when you go against her, when you go against him, you going against God to resist authority, to resist God. Even, even David. Mm -hmm. When David, when Saul That's was right. after David, yeah, right. and Saul came up after he would David, still do him no harm. He, this he didn't do him no. Harm. He would not even talk about That's Saul. Right. He see, will not even talk That's about awesome Saul. Example. Oh because for the simple reason, Saul wanted to kill That's right. him. That's right. Saul was after him. Was Saul even sent armies out That's right. to get him. But the Bible says when. David had so many chances to talk about Saul. He, David said, I will not lift my finger That's against right, him. Bishop. I will not lift my mouth mm. against him. He says, that is God's problem. That's right. That's God. That's right. He says, God's going to deal with Saul. Listen, all you have to do is do what God wants you to do. Right. And you don't go against your leader. Why? When you go against your leader, you go against God. That's right. Lord Hammer, man, that's See, some good that, stuff. That's where we mess up because now we're messing up our own selves. You know, our whole blessing, household, our the life. The blessing stops. That's right. Correct. That's Correct. right. The blessing stops. Mm. When you go again, and you know, I've seen it so many, and people will not, some people will not testify to the fact that, but when you do that to your leader, you just halt all blessings My in your own God. life. You can say what you want, but some things God, God wanted to. Or bless you with, or God wanted to bless you in certain ways, but because you put your mouth on your leader, my God, my God. or you hurt your leader, my or God, come you on. know, you was just just acting unruly. Come on. Right then and there, God said, if you resist them, you resist you them. resist me. Oh God. And we wonder why we don't get the blessing like yeah. we're supposed to get the right. blessing. Right. We think that we are in order, right. but we are out of order. Listen, and then, if, if, it's just mm, like this. Mm. If 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 we were supposed to do what our pastor is doing, God would have called us. Mike, come on, come But he didn't put us on. in that position. Come we on. wasn't equipped, we wasn't ready. Mm. And the fact that we cannot respect and be humble and so submission to our leader that right there shows us that we could not be a leader my, ooh, we man. could not be a pastor my God, how because can if, lead if we're going to fight follow. against exactly if we're going to fight against our leader then what oh my god when people would have come up to us uh what we how we would have handled that how we would have looked at them oh you know we would have pushed them aside and we would talk to them any kind of way and we would have said i want it my way and it's going to be my way and there's nobody else and that's why we yeah, don't yeah. have the position my because god, god said mm -hmm. i need to put somebody with my heart listen to me listen to me i chagrin at the fact of of the things mm -hmm. that people do Listen to me. And now watch this. God don't bless no mess. God don't bless no mess. God can't. Listen, 
We have a lot of people mm -hmm. who will leave a church and then when they leave the church, they go and spread stuff Talk about, it. That's about right. that pastor mm -hmm. or about oh, that, that leader or about that church. Oh man, you just don't know how you are just condemning yourself. If you finish reading that second chapter, I mean that second verse of the book of Romans, Romans third, uh, 13 and verse 2, when you finish reading, it says you're condemning yourself. Right. You are condemning yourself yeah. to damnation mm -hmm. when you go you get mad at, at pastor this and you get mad at pastor this you get mad at that and you leave the church and then you go talk about that pastor lord have mercy jesus you go talk about them and say oh this and that and this and that i don't care who you talk to when you talk about them, you are coming against God. You cannot go and try to start something. You leave this place and you go try to start something over here. God don't bless no mess. You cannot put your hand on the woman of God and the man of God. It's just not biblical. God will do justly. Come on. Come you on. keep on reading. It's going to tell you. God will do justly to you. He will, he will not have mercy, but he will have justice on you and your household. And that's why a lot of times we wonder, I, I, I did this, I did that, but we don't grow. We don't go nowhere. Uh, I, I want to say this. My pastor, my pastor, uh, and, and you probably heard me say it before, co-pastor, when, when, when I was coming up and my pastor would do certain things, my pastor would do certain things, um, and, and I knew what my pastor did. I knew what my pastor did. I would never, ever go put my, my mouth on my pastor. Mm. Uh, I, I, I've had... I've had three pastors in my entire life. In my entire life, I've only had three pastors. Uh, pastor Terry Anderson was my first pastor. Then uh, my, my second pastor was Pastor Joshua Thomas. And then my third pastor was Pastor Lord Jerner. Now watch this. Uh, the thing is, when I know anything about any one of them, I would never go back. I, I used to, I used to uh, 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 drive or uh, 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 ride back then, it was way back when, uh, with, with Pastor Anderson. I used to drive or ride with him. And if I would see anything, not saying he did anything, if I would see anything, I would never go back and tell. Uh, I used to drive for a lot of pastors. I used to drive, but my pastor, Pastor Joshua Thomas, mm -hmm. I used to drive for him, co-pastor. Mm -hmm. And when one time when I seen him, uh, he's dead and gone now, but I seen him smoking. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that now he's dead and gone. Uh, God bless. Uh, he, I seen him smoking. And that was my first time seeing him smoking. And I'd been around him for so long, but this time I caught him smoking. I walked in his bedroom and he was smoking. Um, and the thing is, I was like, whoa, I would never, ever go back and tell people that he was smoking, even though nothing was wrong with that. But I wouldn't dare, co pastor, go Sorry, back and tell him. and discredit him because I knew, watch this now, the same ditch I dig for him is going to come back in my own life. We don't understand, brothers and sisters, listen to me. You don't understand, co pastor, like I said, karma. Karma, and and some of y'all know that other word. They say karma is a y'all y'all know what I'm talking son about. Of a gun. Man, karma, <laughs> karma is a son of a gun, man. Listen, you've got to know that it's coming back. What you send into somebody's life, it will come back to you That's in your you own life. Up. And if you send it into a pastor's life, it's coming back double, oh, man. It's coming up. back double. Listen, if you sit, man, if you do good, you're going to reap double. If you do bad, you're going to reap double. Are you hearing me? You cannot put your mouth on the man or right. woman of God. Right, it's just, man, it's an abomination to God. You cannot do it just candidly talking, just going scandalizing their name, saying this and that about them when they feeding you daily, praying for your soul, lifting you up. You don't know that Satan wanted to do a lot of things to you.
Hear me out. Satan wanted to do a lot of things to you, but the only reason he didn't do it is because you had a shepherd who was praying over you. Right. And Bishop. because your shepherd had Bishop. a connection with God. Ooh, listen Bishop. to me. Because your, your shepherd had a connection with God. They put your name out before the presence of God. Bishop. And when they put your name out before the presence of God, God heard That's them. Right. When God didn't even hear you, That's oh right, Lord, Bishop. have mercy. That's Right. When you wasn't fit to live, when you wasn't fit to die, when you had no credibility, oh Lord have mercy. When God knew that your heart was foolish intent, oh God, from inside out, your pastor prayed that God made a way for you and look at you now and you have the audacity right. to put your name right. on them. Oh Lord have mercy. It's an abomination mm. in the eyesight of God. And I so grin co-pastor. Mm. I so grin when people do this. Mm. I so grin. I so grin when, oh God, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, I, I so grin when pastors put their, their talk about other pastors. Mm. Oh Lord, I so grin. Do you not know that that is the man or woman of God that's and right, God Bishop. is stretching them that's in an right, area. Bishop. That's why they go through what some of the things they go through because God allowed them to go through it. Well, have mercy to you, so that they can be greater what what paul said paul said out of everybody i'm the chiefest of sinners that's it i'm the chiefest of sinners i did the most dirt out of all of the apostles he said i did the most dirt out of all the disciples i did the most dirt he says i'm the chiefest of sinners but look how god used him and you have the audacity to put your your your, your tongue on mm. somebody, some man right. who fell, some woman that fell, mm. if they fall down, oh God, mm. the Bible says you who are strengthened, reach and strengthen them, get them up. If your brother fall into a ditch, would you not go and pick him up? Mm. Don't throw dirt on me when I'm down. Mm. Don't throw dirt on me mm. when I'm down. Don't, don't, don't. Ooh, ooh, God, I just, listen, listen. When, when you understand, when you understand what a pastor, a first lady, first man, when you understand what they go through, when you understand when, 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 when their loved one is taking time for everybody else and not taking time for them. My God. It takes a special woman. It takes a special man to be a first man and a first love oh woman. God. <laughs> to be a first man and a yes, first lady, it takes somebody special. You're helping this one. It takes somebody special. Listen, don't you dare walk on that first man. Mm. Don't you dare walk over that first lady. Don't you dare. Don't you dare mm. give them the, the highest respect. I don't even care if they if you don't see them all the time. If you don't see them, if they come to church even every now and then. You have to know the, what they are doing for you. That's right. And you know, Bishop, you said it, was mm. it takes a special person. Being a pastor, being there. My spouse, God. It'd be a special, it, it takes a special person because just not anybody can do it because God has conditioned us that we can get hurt, but yet we can still love. My, oh, come on, co pastor. Come we on. We can still come teach on, you. Come we on. can still nurture. We can still be there. We can still pray. No matter what, what our, our sheep will do that in God. the house we can still go and tend to them My we can mend their needs we you know even we we, we sometimes we looking and thinking to ourselves you're the same one that hurt me but i got to have still sought me My to God. to tend to you to mm. still build you up My to God. still encourage you mm. and that's because he conditioned us conditioned. not everybody bishop can do that my god my god not everybody is fit for that mm. Mm. you know we we uh, the, the word says to love everybody and if somebody do you wrong still you know if you have an art bring it to them and still love but not everybody do it but as leaders my god come on that's that. mandated for us to do because mm. even though we said we're mad we're never going to talk to that person again god will allow something to happen that we have to be face to face him we have to we have to pray for them we have to uplift them. We have to encourage them. We have to put aside our own feelings. On, and we have to tend to my those God. that are hurt my and God. broken. Because he has called us mm. to do that. Mm. You know, it, I understand why in Isaiah, the 53rd chapter. Come on. 
and the seventh verse Come on, that Coach, God that's it. That's put, put implication on this scripture right here. And he and in so many words, he said his love for his pastors and his leaders. Look what he said. How lovely on the mountains and are the feet of him who bring good news. That, listen, you got to get that. That's Isaiah 53 and 7. <clears throat> Isaiah 53 and 7. Go ahead, Coach. How Say lovely on the mountains are the feet of him who bring good news. Oh who God. announces peace. And brings good news of happiness. My God. Who announces salvation. Come on. And says to Zion, your God reigns. Come on. He just, God right there just told us in a nutshell mm -hmm. how important our leaders are. Mm -hmm. How he looked at his pastors. Mm -hmm. And how he uh, uphold them. And, and, and how he elevates them and how he thinks highly of them Come and on, how he pastor. loves them because of who they are. Mm -hmm. He said, blessed are their feet, Bishop. Oh my God. You know, some Bible said that bring glad tidings. Oh my God. That's going to bring an encouraging word to you. That's going to bring salvation to mm, you. Yes. That's going to lift up that broken heart and that <laughs> trial, trodden down heart. Blessed are the feet. My God. Of them that preaches the gospel of peace, peace, and bring glad, glad tidings, tidings and good things. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. You know, in another word, that's why, and I could remember, Bishop, when some you would tell some of our, our members, oh, I'm, I'm going today to visit you. And they would, I mean, the house would be speaking that they would cook. Oh, my God. Especially the, the, the older members that we had at one point. Young people, listen. They would got cook. <laughs> they would have pies. They, you know. And Justin was so excited. Why? Because my pastor was coming. I, I, I'll, I'll never forget. I'll never forget uh, when I first came to, to Fate Hope. I'll mm -hmm. never forget mm -hmm. when I came to Fate Hope. That was uh, 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 the person who pastored the church before me. Mm -hmm. It's the same one who used to pastor Greater New Hope mm -hmm. in Baldwin. And that's Pastor Matt Creighton. Mackie Creighton. Uh, mm -hmm. I remember when uh, I was over here and I, I first started pastoring. Matt Creighton had, had given up the church here and I started, uh, I came up behind him and he told me, he says, come on, I'm going to take you around to some of the members' home. And he took me to Sister Maddie Jerner's house. <laughs> I'll never forget. He took me to Sister Maddie Jerner's house and she knew he was going there on Sunday. And when, when I walked in that house, man, they had pies. They had food the plate was set and he had a certain spot that he would sit at at the end of the table mm. and at the end of the table she would fix his food she fixed my food she fixed go mm. past the food man we were new pastors out here and he sat down there and he ate she served him pie afterwards that was the first time i ate i ate eggplant casserole my god oh look my at that god. and she did that and and watch this after she finished the food and all of these things he when we he was getting ready to go all he did was picked up his plate mm -hmm. and he put his hand underneath the plate mm -hmm. and she had underneath his plate where he was sit she had a twenty dollar bill she had a twenty dollar bill and 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 he got in the car he never said nothing he just picked it up from the bottom of the plate put it in his pocket and he, we walked when we got into the car go ahead, go ahead. Right. when he got into the car i said man what was all that he says she knew how to treat the man of God. I was getting ready to say they knew the she, significance oh, of the man oh, of God. He says, he says, listen, he says, you don't know. This is what he told me. He said, you don't know. When I walked in her house, I blessed the whole house. Mm. He said, just my present, I blessed the whole house. Mm. Oh, Lord, that mm. speaks volume with the with the scripture that co-pastor say uh, just read to us. That's in the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, if you go around the book of Romans, uh, around the 10th chapter, you'll find the same thing mm. where he talks about blessed are the feet of them that preaches the gospel of peace, that brings mm. glad tidings mm. of good mm. things. Lord, have mercy. Mm. Oh, God, he's talked about how can he preach? With the, how can we hear without the preaching? How can he preach except he be sick? Then he says, Blessed are uh, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach good, uh, good uh, glad tidings of, and bring good things. But well, it's in there. Listen, that's in that tenth chapter of the book of Romans. It's so beautiful. The thing is, co-pastor, mm -hmm. we the reason why God says it's so beautiful. When you read that scripture, mm -hmm. it spoke volume. When mm -hmm. you said that, it spoke volume. Why? Because when 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 the when you look at the man of God. The reason why God highly esteemed him, 
Because when you look at the man of God or the woman of God, they're bringing glad tidings mm -hmm. of good things. Mm -hmm. If they're bringing glad tidings of good things, then watch this. Satan is really That's after right. them. That's right. More than anybody it, else. It, Satan is after them. Right. Satan wants to destroy right. them. Right. So watch this. Satan, we always talk about the man and the woman of God. Ooh, God, please forgive me. I don't want to get too excited. Or I don't want to get too upset or it hurts my heart. When I think about people, when a man or a woman of God fall into something, diverse temptation, when they fall into diverse temptation, the, the, the church, mm. not just the community, the church come at them and start mm. talking about mm. them and start saying they shouldn't have did this. They shouldn't have did that. They shouldn't have did that. Listen, watch this now. Just as I am, and, and, and Jesus put it just this way, uh, just as I am flesh, that's right, that's right. I am also divine. That's right. That's right. You have to understand mm -hmm. I'm, 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 also, I'm flesh, but I'm also divinity. Are y'all are with me? We, we, we got the spirit of God on us. Walking in, under the mantle of God. Mm -hmm. And then we have this fleshful side that's always coming against. Mm -hmm. Paul says, oh, rest, wretch man that I am, who shall deliver me? He says, every time when I won't, would do good, evil is present. Mm -hmm. And he says, the good that I would do, I find myself not doing. And that what I hate, that the thing I find myself doing. Listen to me. Seven times the devil will come after me more than he come after you. Are, are you with me? Mm. So watch this now. So every Sunday morning, I said this one time in church, co pastor, every Sunday morning when I get to church, every Sunday morning when co pastor get to church, there should be a standing ovation. Why, Bishop? Why are you saying that? There should be a standing ovation for your leader. Why? Because you know the hell you went through. And you barely made it to church because the devil was coming after you. But when you look at your leader, the devil came after your leader seven times harder mm -hmm. than when he came after you. And your leader still made it. That's right. After all of the, oh God, That's can right. you, I, I wish y'all could That's really right. get that. If the devil been beating you up mm -hmm. and it took you an act of Congress to make it to the house of God, mm -hmm. if it took you an act of Congress and then your leader come in and the enemy is after him seven times more because he know if he get you, you and your family might fall. But if he get your leader, the whole church is going to fall. So when your leader shows up, you ought, to, you ought to thank God for your leader because he made it through another day, another week, another month, another year. You ought to do hot. You ought to, oh God. You ought to highly esteem your leader because we don't, we, we don't put the, the principles of the Bible right. in, uh, but for what we want to put it in. Only what we want to do, only what we want to highlight, that's what we emphasize. But we don't emphasize the part. Watch this. So what happens if that leader would fall? Mm. If something would happen to that leader? That's why the Bible says that the church, the people, the women and men of God need to undergird that leader. Because why? He was getting, he or she was getting ready to take the church somewhere. That's why the devil came at him or her with everything they had. They fell down, but watch this. They got to get back up. And you got to help them get back up. Don't talk about them. Don't doubt them. Help them get back up. We have to realize God already knew oh, that man. leader. Come on. When he placed him, Come over on. His, he already knew his flaws. Come his on. He knew exactly if he, he when he would have messed up. How you to mess up? God already knew that, but God already knew also that mm. He was going to get back up and He was going to get it right. My God. Because at that point, God was teaching him some things mm. while he went through what he went through, why he fell down, why he went by the wayside, by whatever he done. God already knew that. It's like this, you know. I, I was thinking, Bishop, while you was talking, I was thinking about David, and and we always mm. think about when we talked about we talked about it not too long ago how David when he found the ark okay. that he had put aside because he got angry at God. Now, the people didn't come against David because th he fell. My God. Because he, he got mad at God. My God. And he just, I'm going to just leave it there and my I'm going to just do my thing. And, my God. And, but he loved God. Come on. But he got angry he got at God. Angry. Yes. He loved God. Come on, he back. still was leading God's people, but he got angry at God. Come on now. He fell. My God. So, so he left the ark where it was. 
And we always put the emphasis on when he found the ark and we use it as he he he, he wasn't in a place with God where he used to be. My God. But just what if, Bishop? What if? Because he left that ark, he fell. Yeah. And now the ark was on a but this is the kicker. When he came to himself, when God taught him and showed him, he when he got the ark, he brought the ark back in. And he was dancing before the ark. The people were shouting, not just because the ark was coming back, but because their leader had came to himself. They wasn't putting him down. Come on, co -pastor. But they were shouting with He's him. Preaching. My, 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 my leader was an error, but he came to himself, and now he's back in his rightful place. Oh my God, y'all better grab that. Thank you, Lord. And now they're shouting with him. That's why he said, the blessing came more on him. Came more and he said, lift up ye gates. The 24th number according to the book mm. of the Psalms. Mm. The 24th number according mm. to the book of the Psalms. And he goes down in, into that latter part of the 24th <laughs> number. He says, lift Thank up you, your heads, yeah. O ye yeah. gates, and yeah. be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. He was shouted out of his clothes, Bishop, because, okay, okay, I got it. But guess what? I'm together. I now. messed up. I messed up. I but failed. I'm, but the I'm enemy together. Had his way that's me. right. That's but right. Look. And it was only because mm. the enemy knew where David was going, where he was taking God's people, oh, how God yes. was moving on him and them. So the the enemy a lot uh, had him to get angry at God, <laughs> and he fell for it. Listen, and listen. he messed up. When he fell, watch this. The whole temple. The whole temple, the whole kingdom stopped being blessed. Come on. God stopped the God. heavens from Come on. When they, oh Lord have mercy. They didn't receive no blessings anymore because the leader had failed. Had failed. But mm. in the Bible, mm. it never says that the people told David, uh, uh, because you got angry with God, God or because you left the ark, we were not blessed. No, they just, I would feel, and I'm just hypothetically in spiritual on. imagination, that they were praying for him come that on. God opened his eyes so he can see. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go, let's go a little bit further. What did the rest of the preachers do when David Fail. That wasn't the first time. Come on. That wasn't the first time. Come on. When, when David fell, when he went to sleep with that woman, uh -huh. if, if one of the pastors right now uh -huh. would man start sleeping with one of the deaconess that's 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 married. Come on now. She's married and and and, and he's married, uh -huh. and he get uh -huh. caught yeah. sleeping with one of the deaconess mm -hmm. in the church, mm -hmm. or one of the lay people, one of the choir members, the choir director in the church. Oh he starts sleeping with mm -hmm. one of the choir directors, then the whole church gonna want to put him out. Right. The whole church gonna want to do this. The preachers in the town gonna start talking. But what happened? What your Bible says. What your oh Lord him, your Bible says that the prophet came to David. Mm. Look, his 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 it. The other preacher came to David mm. and God used him and God told him, he said, Look, let me show you what happened. That, that's right. He come didn't on. just come at him. Come on. And he didn't he judge him, him but he told him a story. Because this is how God will break it down. To God, us. God will on. let us see our own error within mm. ourselves mm. by giving us an illustration about somebody else or something else. Come on, Kofi. And, and he came and he told him, he said, you know, they, they, they had somebody that had shit. <laughs> he said they had somebody that, that they had somebody there, a man. He said one man had had uh, so many sheep. He yeah. had a bunch of sheep, uh -huh. thousands of sheep. He had a hundred of sheep. Uh -huh. And then he went out. He left his sheep right uh -huh. there. He went, went out into one. another man's field. Yeah, and the other man just had one That's sheep. Right. One it. sheep. Uh -huh. And he went in that other yeah, man's uh -huh. field when he had a hundred uh, uh -huh. sheep. Uh -huh. He went in the man field, took the man one sheep, brought it to his house, uh, and used the man one sheep. He, he cooked a big old supper and he ate the man one sheep that the man had and left his hundred sheep right there. And David got so mad. He said, who would have done such a thing? He says, I'm going to kill him. Bring him here. He says, look, David, you're talking about yourself. He said, you had all those women in your harem. You could have had any woman you wanted, but you went pick that other person woman and you took her as your very own. David wrote the 51 number of Psalm, got reconciled back with God and watch this, the kingdom got blessed again. That's right. But what we do, the 
community, the people, everybody want to point the finger. They want to go in on them. They want you don't know how the flesh is so weak in the church. That 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 that, mm -hmm. that oh God, the enemy will come after your leader. He's going to come after your leader. He's going to come after your oh God. And those who are saved, sanctified, you need to hold your leader up. You need to hold your leader up. I'm going back to what Cobaster said. When 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 David had, was in error, when he messed up, and God shut up the kingdom from the blessing in the kingdom, he shut it up. The Bible says when David seen his mistake, he came back to God. Look what he did. So a lot of you like to say he went back and got the the ark. Listen, when he went back, he went back and got that God. Relationship, he got right. reconciled mm. back to his God. When he got reconciled, wait, did you hear me that? When he got reconciled, what, what he did, he got God back, mm. and all he did was picked up uh oh, Come on. where he left That's off. That's right. He came back praising God because he was a praiser. Listen, I'm going to talk to a pastor right now. I want to talk to a, a, wh wh whether you're a woman, man, whatever. I want to talk to your pastor right now and let that pastor know, listen to me. If you fall, stop hanging your head. Stop letting everybody put this on you or that on you or try to make the compassion. Look, check this out. We, we, David, when he failed, mm -hmm. he allowed the people to put, he didn't allow the people to put a, a hedge over right. him or cloud over him to make him feel that he was unworthy. Right. Listen to me, pastor. No matter right. what you go through, himself. no matter what you go through, lift your head up. Lift your head up. Listen, listen, Pastor. Lift your head up. Lift your head up. You trust God. You believe God and you keep it moving. Oh, God. You trust God and you keep it moving. I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you that you, that when God anointed you, He anointed you for everything you got to go through. And the only person that's going to stop you is you. You got to keep it moving. You got to keep going. You got, don't feel bad. Don't feel, don't get on Facebook and apologize. Don't get, no, man, you go to your God and your God who knows you, he's going to, oh, ooh, Lord, the Lord can place you where you're supposed to be. Why? Because you are anointed. You are anointed. You are anointed. I'm, I want to give that. You are anointed. And I just want to thank God for you right now, pastors all over the world. I want to thank God for you because in the midst of everything, you, you, you survived it. That's right. You survived it. You are a survivor. Right. You know how they ring a bell when somebody finished uh, with, with their chemo? You got to... You got to ring a bell. Man, you got men go into your church like David, ringing a bell. David started dancing and he said, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Yeah. And then look, the people said, who is this king of glory? Yeah. Who is it that restored you? That's right. Who is it that brought you back right. to life? Who is it that gave right. you your joy right. back? And David said, the Lord strong in might, right. the Lord right. mighty right. in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And some of them who didn't hear it, hear it came back and said again, who is? Uh, this king of glory. This restorer. <laughs> ah, this healer. This deliverer. Big job. It's in the 24th number of song. He said, and that, listen, that's my favorite song, uh, man. That's my favorite song. And then he said, the Lord. Uh -huh. Oh, he is. That's right. He didn't go back through the whole song uh -huh. again. He said, the Lord. Uh -huh. he, is he is the king of glory. Lord. Regardless of what you got to go through, if you want the glory back, mm -hmm. if you want the, the crown jewel back, if you want your anointing strong, you got to, oh God, you right. got to go through something. And for those, I'm finished, go for, those of them, for those of them that only heard us saying about to encourage your pastor, even though they be an error, if they fall, My God. and you encourage mm -hmm. the pastor, for those that are taking out the wrong way and say, oh, they was just trying to uh, uh, uplift 
a, a pastor when he go do covering up his sin. No, that, no, man, come on. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Can, can I say something else? Not by any stretch ahead, of the imagination oh, that we were that that we mm. were we were siding with doing wrong. Validate. Yeah, that that he that validate. that will never happen. But what we were trying to get over is that just as we are human they are human and the enemy will come after them worse than what they even come after us that's why we must pray we must undergird we must lift them up so many pastors in the past have committed suicide because the pressure of life was so much because they found themselves in error and couldn't face the people of God and, and couldn't face their family and, and they, they felt like they brought shame and so instead of face it they took their own life. Oh my God. That's why God put members there. That's why God put up brothers and, and sisters in Christ for you to lift up, hmm. to build up, to encourage my God. That that would never happen. My God. You 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 have to know that the the level of anointing that's on your life is so great. Right. That's right. That the enemy will do everything and anything. That's right. To try Bishop. to steal it and limit That's you. right, Bishop. Don't never think that it's not going to happen mm, to you. That's right. Oh, my God. Don't never think. Paul says, don't lift yourself up. Least ye fall. Mm. Listen, man, listen. You you think that you you man you done went through this keep that living. And stuff. especially young preachers mm. keep living keep living oh, oh my god you haven't seen nothing yet keep living you know yeah man listen mm. 33 years we've been doing this 33 mm. years we've been pastoring now and we haven't seen everything years. yet bishop and listen no we haven't seen it co-pastor we can man when I get up Oh man, we gotta go. Yes, I'm gonna say this, but uh, when I get up to preach, I don't preach like I used to. Go, Pastor. You think I do? If what? I still when I get up to preach, you think I still preach like I used to? When you were younger, you preached to impress. Now, when you get up, you preach with wisdom and season. My God, you know somebody that's been through it. My God, and can give a word that already see the need that can just. Allow God to give him that word just to meet whatever need that is. You, you, it, to me, you. I've watched you, and to me now, you're more, and not because of your age, mm. but you're seasoned mm. out of the life you lived in being a leader. My God, God chastised you, God taught you, God brought you, God. I mean, whole nine yards, and it was life lessons learned. And now you're taking, you've applied it to your life, good, bad, and the ugly, but you kept it pushing, and now you're on the backside to be able to say, "Hey, my God, you and, know, man." And you know, and that's it. That's simply it. I I used to. I used to rhyme and die. Yeah, yeah, you can, rhyme. Rhyme. You can impress, Bishop. Stuff, you can make people man. feel good. Bishop, you used to walk the pews, Bishop. I would see you walk the pews and people, would, yeah, yeah, and crowds around. And, and but, yeah. but now when you stand up, this is me, okay. not because you're my husband, but when you stand up, I'm looking, waiting for that word because I look in respect now. I look in. Oh my God, that's my leader getting ready to say something. God has placed something on his heart mm. and I need that word. I will look up. I will watch for every word that come out of your mouth mm. because there's something that's coming out and that's for me. Um, <clears throat> my pastor was Pastor Joshua Thomas and I remember he was 77 years old and he had to speak for the, the convention and he had to speak for the convention <laughs> and a young man had got up mm -hmm. and man, I wanted to hear that young man. Mm -hmm. I wanted to hear that young man. Who Lord, he got up and he did his thing. Boy, he threw the house down. We, he threw the house down. Throw you the remember house. that? Yeah. Go back. He told me we was at the throw pool. The house he down. shouted throw there. The house down, he bitch. threw the house down. He was saying some of the things, putting stuff like together. Rhyming down. Just and, yeah, man. Making it sound good. What? And I was, man, I was so Oh God, happy! And then my pastor got up, mm. and he walked up there, slow, slow. Mm -hmm. He congratulated the mm -hmm. young man, and then he stood up. Wisdom spoke, Bishop. Yeah, he just. Oh my God! He just, he just started talking. That's right, Bishop. And like you can hear a pin drop on cotton. Wisdom spoke, and the things that that man just talked. 
talk, the things that he said still resonating in my life right now today. And and go ahead. That would have made somebody that wasn't saved my God. run up there and say, tell me more about this tell guy. Me. I need to be saved. My God. Yeah, that just, just, just wisdom spoke. He just spoke. And and Dr. Gardner C. Taylor, Dr. Gardner C. Taylor, uh, stood up and said this after him. He says, it's something about when you're young. He said, you're out there trying to make it. Mm. He mm. said, but when you're old, mm. you don't care if you make it or not mm. because you know you already made it. Mm. He says, he says, he, he said there was a difference between the two preachers mm. and God spoke through both of them. Mm. Lord have mercy, Jesus. And when those old folk, Covasta, used to get up and talk, when they used to say stuff, uh, now I zoom in. Right. You know, I, I love to be around I, the elderly. Because they've been through some stuff. And let me tell you, have some wisdom. We, I said all that to say we're doing this, we're talking to you this week because we've been through some stuff. Been through some stuff, for sure. We've been through some been stuff. Through some and stuff. we can tell you that whatever you go through, you can make it. You can make it. That's right. You can make it. That's right. Listen, listen, we won't pray. Co Pastor, will you pray for us today? You pray for us today. We're gonna pray. We're gonna just trust God. We hope we want you to take care of your leader. We want you, we want you to give you an understanding that your leaders go through some why they go what through their worth it. What, whatever they go through, they're full work. It, it's 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 like David. It, God wanted to, to bring the kingdom to a, a sometimes your leader will go through just to see what you're gonna do. Mm. Did you get that? Yeah, sometimes God will have That's your right. leader to go through. Mm. Just to see what so the body is going to do. You are. That's right. That's right. Just to see what the body is going to do. Mm. Let's let's pray. Let's go to the throne of grace, and we're just going to trust God on today. Gracious Father, we thank you and we praise you, God. We give you glory and honor on this morning, God. God. God, we pray, oh Father God, that you would touch our hearts, yes, Lord, oh Father Jesus. God. Dear Father God, that we would have a servant heart, oh God. Father God. Master, wherever you lead us, we will follow, oh Father. Master, right now, God. Mm. God, we realize and understand, oh Father God, how we treat those that have ruled My over us. Lord. Father, affect our lives, oh Father. Master, we're praying oh God, for those unbelievers that, My dear God. Father God, that don't know your word and don't take your word and don't mm -hmm. apply your word, yes, oh Lord Father Jesus. God. Master, right now, yes, we ask Lord that you would Jesus. condition them, oh Father God, that they would have a service yes, heart, oh Father God. Master, right now, in the mighty name of yes, Jesus, Lord oh God. Jesus. Father, right now, some of the things, oh God, that we're going through, oh God, we don't know how we're going to make it, but Father, My we God. pray, Master. oh Father God, that every word that come out of our leader's mouth, oh Father God, mm -hmm. Master, would uplift us, would build us yes, up with encouragement us, would strengthen us, would heal us, would deliver us, would restore us. Father, right now, oh God, Master, you placed them in our lives for a purpose, oh Father God. Now, God, we ask that you would use them to the fullest, oh God. Strengthen our leaders, yes, oh Father yes, God, yes. across this world, oh Father God. Master, right yes, now, yes. oh Father God, oh Master, we ask, oh God, that your precious Holy Spirit would undergird them, oh Father God. Master, when they're down, oh Father God, that you would pick them my up, God, oh Father God. God. Master, right Right now, when they're weak, oh God, that you would strengthen them, oh Father. Master, that you would place people around them, oh Father God, that would be there for them, God, that would hold them up, oh Father God, that would pray them up, oh Father God. Master, right now, in the mighty oh name God, of Jesus, God, oh God, God, we pray, God, that your Holy Spirit, oh God, would consume us, oh Father God, that we would be the church, oh God, that would take your word, oh Father mm -hmm. God, and yet apply and walk in your word, God. Master, right now, oh God, that, oh Father God, that our lives oh God, that would be befitting before God, you, oh God. God. Oh, Master, right now, we pray, oh God, and God, we pray on this morning for all those, oh God, that's been battling with something in their life, oh Father God. Master, we ask that you would give them directions, oh Father God, that you would my give God, them instructions, God. oh God. Father, right now, God, we pray for the young lady, oh Father God, that's in New Orleans right now, that's on a ventilator, oh my Father God, God that God. had a baby, oh Father God, right now in the mighty name, the of, name Jesus, of Jesus, her name fails me, God, but had a baby, God, and immediately after had a baby, had to have 
open heart surgery, right oh God, because right you had a hole in all. Father, right now, we're asking that you would touch, God. Mm -hmm. Touch that baby, touch that mother, Father God. Master, right now, now we pray for life, oh Father God. Master, right now, oh God, fix that heart, God. Fix the hearts of those around her, oh Father God. Master, right now, that is not only her that you're dealing with, but you're dealing with a family. God, right my now, God, in the mighty God. name of Jesus, mm -hmm. God, we stand in on your word, oh God, for healing, oh God. Right now, oh Master, we pray for our children oh God. Oh, Father, that's going to school. Oh, Father God, we pray, God, that you would protect them, lead them, and guide them. We pray for our teenagers, oh, Father God. God, right now, oh, Father God, we build a shield around them, God. God. Father, right now, we ask that you would hide them in your secret place mm. of the Most High. Father, right My now, God. we pray for our children, God. God, we pray mm. for our mm. babies, God. Cover them, oh God. Cover them from the cruel world, God. Cover them from the demons that's ready to grab them. Yes, Father, Lord. cover them right now, oh God. Master right now, oh God. And we cancel every assignment that you want to place on their lives, oh God. Oh Father, right now, we pray, oh God, that thou would just have thy own way in our lives, oh God. And we forever give you the praise, the glory, and the honor, God. In Jesus' mm -hmm. mighty name. My God. Amen. My God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And all those that we may have not called their name, but God know them by name. My and God. as we stand in agreement and we stand on one accord, oh our prayers just build up a wall and a shield and, and, and undergird those that's in need because God. God said he does hear our prayer mm -hmm. every time that we pray. Right. So we just thank God for being the loving God that he is. We're lifting up our pastors on this week. Yes. We're encouraging them as well as God is teaching us how to treat them, how to give them respect, how to be submissive to them mm -hmm. and put down our flesh and let the spirit man that's on the inside of us prevail and do as God has called call for us to do. Yes. Amen. We ask that you send this. Tax your somebody. Tag pastors. Tag uh, members. Tag them and let them know. Because a lot of them really don't know what their leaders go through. God bless you. God keep you. Remember, and may his Holy Spirit yes. shine upon you. Remember God loves you. Yes, we love you from Genesis to Revelations. Love, love, love. <laughs> Hug up on somebody. Call them. Tell them they oh, need it, guys. God. They need it. They need it. Hug up. Uh, hug them. Call them. Just let them know. I was thinking about you. They need it. And let them know that God loves them. Amen. Have a blessed and awesome day on today. Oh yes, God. Amen. Just love upon somebody. Say, good Bishop, good God Almighty. Yes, Lord. God bless you. We love you. We love you. We love you. See you tomorrow morning. This is my song right here. See you tomorrow. Good God Almighty, oh my God. I hope you find me. We don't own the rights to this music, but we so thank God for it. Listen, we're going to be praying at 12 noon for you. We're going to be praying for each and every last one of you. Put your prayer request down if you haven't done it already. If you haven't done it already, put your prayer request down. Hallelujah. God bless you. Have a good day at work. Is he good? Is he good? Is he God? He's God, he is good God Almighty. Praise him in the morning, praise him in the noon, praise him when the sun goes down. Love him in the morning, love him in the noon, love him when the sun Someone goes down. Someone said, don't let, don't put him off the bus. I hope you find me. Praise him your name, no matter what the I without your mercy. So I can praise in your name at the top of my lungs. We love y'all. So he is a good, he is good, he is a God, he is God, he is good, God Almighty. Thank you, God. Woo! Hey, now. Jesus, when the sun goes down. Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, Jesus when the sun goes down. God bless you, and may you have an awesome week.
God bless you.